In my video today, this is more of a show and tell and not a how to or why video. We're looking at a small collection of my single line telephones in my single line display room. Each and every telephone in this room will be connected to my central office switch and will have its own dialable seven digit phone number. At this time, about 20% of the phones are connected. We have Western Electric, ITT, Stromberg Carlson, and a couple of AE phones. I do have a collection of automatic electric phones that will be going into its own private display in another room, and I have yet to create that room. This particular section has several hundred phones in this room, and I have another room with all of my 1A2 phones in it. Here are some of the trim line phones, ITT, Western Electric, and Stromberg, Touchtone, and Rotary. These are my swirl colored phones. This is some of my Erica phones and an automatic electric style line phone. I'll be showing my 554 sets. Western electric. ITT and Stromberg 500 sets. The non-dial 500 set is connected to an intercom switchboard. Here are some 2500 sets, Western, Northern Electric, ITT, and Stromberg. The clear phone my wife found at a thrift store for around $20. Wonderful score. An AE phone temporarily hanging out in with the 2500s. And I have a data phone at the very end, a gray Western electric phone. Here are some of my 1500s. I do not have all of the colors of the 1500s. I wish that I did. I have a couple of 501 sets for party line service, and I will have them on a party line. I do have a little bit of multi-line phones in this display room because I've run out of room in my key system display room. So we have a like slash automatic electric three line three hold, an ITT three line three hold, and a Stromberg Carlson three line three hold. I also have a Western Electric 416 COM key. Both the rotary dial and the touch tone version of the COM key. I have an adjunct dial 
that's connected to a comm key as well as the hands-free answer, answer back intercom and then I have a couple of other single line phones that were the design lines. Here's series. some 2554 and 1654. The top phones are all 2554s in all the different manufacturers and most of the colors. 1654 sets were made by Stromberg and ITT. I do have a few two line versions of these. They were manufactured off of patents from AT&T, but AT&T Western Electric never made the rotary dial mini walls. Only ITT, Stromberg, and I'm not sure if Northern Electric made them or not. Then I have my Prince's phones, 701, 702s, 2702 sets. These will be working soon. And they all have the lamps in them, and I intend on connecting up most of the lamps for display. The wiring that is involved in making this stuff work takes hours and hours. And again, every phone will have its own individual telephone. This is a design line phone that's mixed in with my trim lines. Here is some of my miscellaneous phones that are connected or will soon be connected intercoms as well as telephones the donut phone and then i have phones on this backboard these are all functional and connected up to either switchboards or switching equipment down below the phones i have various types of phones d mounts 102s 202s and candlesticks all manufacturers are represented for the most part and below it i have some single line phones and multi-line phones and a couple of my international telephones the very bottom row of phones will not be connected up they're too low to actually make calls on unless we had some kids here this is the back side of the display with various other types of telephones other than the stroger phone in the middle these are all connected up to their own telephone lines then again the very bottom row which i will show in a moment these telephones are just here for display i believe i only have one of them connected there's the bottom row i apologize that the lighting is not very good for these phones I will hopefully someday have that corrected. I do have some 1A key equipment and it's in the process of being wired out. And I will make a video of it when I have it finished. Here are some of the phones that will be connected to the 51 and 52 control unit as well as the angle bracket KTUs. These are in the 400 series range. There's a couple 500 series. And here's some of my pay phones in various states of completion. More to work and I have made videos and or will make videos for each of the phones in the future. It's a very small display of different types of wire and cable use. Here's the IDF for the single line phone room. The green boards are the tie cables to my central office. The blue boards, for the most part, have cables that go to the single line phones or the 1A2 phones in this building. The pink boards below are the multiples for the 1A2 system or my 1A1 that I have mounted. Here's a few more of the older phones. This is in a separate building where my iTech electronic switching system is. And this building will also have some of my automatic electric single line phones. Between the 1A2 phones, the phones on the property throughout my buildings and home, and the automatic electric phones that are yet to be set out, I should have a total of about 700 telephones on our property. And the Intent is to have every single phone working. I've spent around 22, 23 years 
on this and I feel I still have another two to three years to go on the project. It's a major undertaking to do this.